Hey guys, Andy back here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with another, I guess another old world video. Uh, obviously I did a test uh, last week where I produced the bases and the movement tray required to rebase one of my um, kind of infantry blocks from my Bretonian army. Um, my men at arms, if you will. So I was, that was basically a test. I really liked how that result turned out. Um, it has been on my desk making me happy ever since then. And I know it is time for me to move forward and try and get the bases done for the rest of that force. Now that we've had the reveals, those reveals the last day were absolutely amazing for the old world. They gave us information such as it's gonna be one of the first releases for 2024. So January, February, we're all looking forward to it. Um, the awesome choice that they have made, and I genuinely believe this, the awesome choice they have made not to revamp every single model in the range. These guys are going to be using um, like 90% of the old miniatures, which for me is a big selling point for Warhammer the Old World. I want that nostalgic feeling when I'm playing the game. That also means that we already have tons of armies in our cupboards or in lofts or tucked away under beds that we can pull out, dust off and get ready for the old world. And that's what I'm gonna plan on doing now. If it's gonna be January and February, that means we have three or four months to get ready for the old world. I, for one, wants to get a huge collection of my old Bretonians, dusted off, rebased, repainted and looking beautiful ready for launch that's my goal so the first thing and the thing i'm going to do in today's video is i'm going to get all of the rest of the bases and movement trays designed out and laser cut out for the force that i currently own i'm going to be using the amazing new creality falcon 2 laser cutter that was very kindly sent to my creality to do that with and it also means i have to design the lance formation movement trays and cut those out that's going to be a little bit uh tricky maybe interesting i'm excited to see what they look like and i'm going to do them in a couple of different sizes as well because they have shown units is six man strong whereas traditionally i've always thought of uh Bretonian Knights as being like nine man strong, four deep maybe. So i'm going to do that i'm going to do both you guys can judge whether it's going to be the bigger one or the smaller one at the end of the video so I'm excited to get to share this video with you guys and see what kind of progress we can get through with a day of just kind of solidly thinking about what kind of units I'm going to take, pulling out my old cases and my old kits that I haven't built yet, and then designing bases for all that. So without further ado, guys, let's get stuck into that. I think it's going to be an exciting video. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, so you guys don't need to bombard me with comments like you do every time I do a laser cutting video. I am in an extremely well ventilated room. I have two huge skylights open and I'm wearing eye protection and I'm wearing a mask as well to keep the fumes out of my lungs constantly. So I do appreciate those comments checking up on me, but I am quite careful with this thing. Um, and I, yeah, so the first thing I did, I was going over to the program Lightburn and I was trying to design that same movement tray style thing um, that I did for the previous videos. So the idea behind, um, you know, creating uh, the base size, which is like rank and file, and then giving it a rim all the way around the outside, uh, allowing me to uh, basically cut out the bases and cut out the movement trays basically at the same time, which I think is extremely useful for me. Um, it basically means I have to cut out the base twice. So I basically managed to uh, design those. It was a little bit tricky. I did require a little bit of help because <laughs> I'm not very good at this kind of thing, but I have it now sorted. And each sheet of my MDF wood allows me to uh, set up and cut out two full bases um, plus movement trays plus all the base for uh, two nine man knight units. So that's the first thing that I did was uh, well, today with today's time was to do that. And then it was simply a case of loading it onto my beautiful Falcon 2 from Creality and cutting it out. I did a uh, 3.3 watt power for 100% um, uh, power, sorry and a single pass cut it all out beautifully so each one of these kind of trays or um pieces of wood shall we say uh, was cut out in about kind of 30 minutes uh, the precision that i got gives me the perfect size bases and the outside gives me the the edge of the trays and then the little blank one beside it is the bottom of the base so once these are combined it does give us those perfect movement trays and like i talked about earlier i'm not entirely sure about unit size just yet for Warhammer the Old World. It's definitely something that is up for debate. Even the infantry models seem to be six wide and four deep. So maybe that was a mistake by going my traditional five wide and four deep. And then my knights here, I've gone for the nine um, kind of size bases. And on the kind of example Bretonian armies that we see on the website, it's been six man strong, which I seem to be very small size for unit. A friend of mine pointed out that today perhaps units of knights will get more wounds so therefore require less miniatures and uh, which is an interesting thought and i hadn't thought about it so perhaps that is the reason um but i quite like that the look of a larger scale uh size unit of knights so this is the tray that i have produced for my first unit of nine knights in lance formation it's a very interesting design 
I'm not sure whether I prefer this or the traditional 3x3 style that we did before in the last edition of Warhammer for Bretonians. I kind of like the look of that better. Um, but uh, who's to say, when I get the rest of the models painted up um, and I get to see all the beautiful colored knights charging across, maybe it'll look awesome. I then created a tray which contains um, a block of bases for my archers, for another block of infantry, and for my guesstimation for a unit of Pegasus Knights. So Pegasus Knights were on 40 millimeter bases. I jumped up to 50 millimeter bases. Might be wrong. I don't know. If it is, it's no big deal. I can always laser cut some more trays and some more bases and fix the mistake if it so happens. But I didn't want to not be working on Bretonian Knights yet. I wanted to kind of get that whole process done. Even the Knights is a guesstimation. It is a they used to be, I can't even remember what they used to be, but the ones that we've uh, measured up now is the uh, 25 by 60 or 30 by 60 bases. I can't remember, but I had checked um, and I measured those out. So uh, the internet seems to agree that that is going to be the generic size of uh, movement tray for these guys. So let's hope that that's the case. The last thing I did was I decided to go ahead and jump on the bandwagon for designing and cutting out some of the same size trays but for six man units like i said that seems to be the case so what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to use these trays for uh, maybe a unit of knights errant and um my questing knights which i don't have very many of i can probably fill out a tray of six which is nice it'll give me an excuse to get them done and get them designed and get them built and put into the army as well so but perhaps i will need more of these six man trays perhaps they are the future of bretonian lance formation i do not know the only way for me to know is to get my grubby hands on the uh, the rules and the new uh, army books which I, I literally can't wait for so this was definitely i think a worthwhile use of my day um, i'm very pleased with the result and uh, laser cutter worked like a dream so if you're interested in that of course check out the description below uh, and get the link to that and check it out for yourself okay guys and there we have it the results of today's labor as you can see i have kind of thought through what most of the forces and units are going to be in my new Bretonian army and I've produced the bases um, that I'm going to need um, to get my old army kind of rebased, get that painted up, up to scratch, ready to go, ready for all the new stuff to come flowing in early next year for me to add into that force. So I'm very pleased with the results of today's work. I cannot wait to go through the process of rebasing the rest of my army like I did with this infantry block here. This infantry block has not been far away from my painting table um, since I did it. Uh, it's just a really nice thing to look at. It gives me really happy feelings um, and I know it's definitely something I want to delve more into. So the old world is going to be a big part of this channel. I promise you of that. So yes, I hope you guys learned a little bit something about laser cutting, a little bit more about the old world, how easy it can be to get these bases. And um, yeah, you're excited as I am for the old world. So let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Do you like laser cutting? Do you like the results? Do you like MDF base? Do you think I should have gone a different route? I'd like to know all your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. Um, if you want to check out the Creality Falcon 2, it will be linked in the description below. It's a very uh, nice machine. I'm very pleased with it. It's going to be my go-to laser cutter machine for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. Without you guys, I could not continue doing what I'm doing. If you're interested in getting involved with that, there are links to it below, access to a private Discord server, and an extra video every single week are just two of the awesome benefits you get for becoming a member. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video.